get over it. Life will hijack your mind if you let it. Hey, what's going on, TikTok? It's your boy, Brother Leon. The one thing that I will say, man, I so appreciate Goggins. I love his mindset. They don't know me, son. Who's going to carry the boats? Who's going to carry the logs? I love his intensity. And the one thing that he has said is that you have to be extreme. You have to be extreme in order for you to see the dream. You have to be extreme to see the dream. And so the one thing that I want you to understand is that there are so many people who are robbed by life. Because the one thing about life, life is not going to give you jack. And that's the God knows truth. And so you have to be in a place where you are like, you know what? I'm not going to let it phase me. Sometimes you have to learn it ain't that serious. And sometimes you got to be like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going for it anyway. And the crazy thing is, is that when you make up in your mind that you're not deterred by this rejection or bad seasons or bad situations or broken relationships, then you are reinforcing yourself and not allowing yourself to stay in a place of despondency and even depression. Now, granted, yeah, it's some things you got to heal. But at the end of the day, you don't stay broken. And a lot of us, man, we're looking for closure. We're looking for affirmation. We're looking for permission. And I'm telling you right now, whenever you look for it from an outside source, you ain't going to never get it. Because at the end of the day, it's always you that has to confirm yourself, affirm yourself, give yourself permission. Seriously, it's not found outside of you. It's found within. Whatever you want is within. I want God to give me a body. But I got work for that shit. Even though I pray, even though I'm a man of faith, I have to pray. But I also have to lift. I also have to eat right. I also have to show up. And sometimes I'm like, yo, I got to show up to the gym before I do anything. And that's the God knows truth. And so you got to begin to set forth in your life what you desire. Practice the life that you want. You want to see that thing manifest, you put it before your eyes. Write the vision, make it plain. Put a vision board on the side of the room that you sleep and let it be the first thing that you see in the morning and the last thing you see at night. Put affirmations on your mirror because you're in that mirror every daggone day. Every time you go to the bathroom, every time you up here taking a shit, you seeing it. And every time you in the gym or every time you at your place that you're trying to change, say the word, speak the word. Thou shalt decree a thing and it will be established unto thee. Then the light or the understanding or the truth shall shine upon thy way. When men are cast down, thou shalt say there is a lifting up. You will begin to go past where you were stuck. And that's the God knows truth, but you got to make it happen. And don't allow life to hijack your mind. You lose your mind, that's it. You lose your heart, that's it. The Bible says guard your heart with all diligence because out of it flows the issues of life. Guard it with all diligence. Be diligent enough to get up in the morning and say, yo, I'm living in the feeling of this thing. How does it feel to be rich? How does it feel to have the body that you work for? How does it feel? And sometimes, yo, you got to endure the pain. And sometimes that pain is good because it's the pain of change and not the pain of regret. And like I said on a previous video, what The Rock said, either day one or one day, what do you choose? Let it be your day one, but don't allow life to hijack your mind. And that's the God knows truth. They don't know me, son. I love that dude. I'm not going to lie, man. Peace.